Hello everyone. I'm Sign One News anchor Martha Anger. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment during this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. According to new data released by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, nearly 146,000 patients are currently being treated in hospitals for COVID-19, a new record high. The number of children in hospitals with COVID also reached a new high. And experts say not every patient was originally hospitalized because of COVID. Some were admitted for another illness, but tested positive while in the hospital. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services also announced private health insurance providers will be required to pay for eight at-home COVID tests per month per individual, either by covering the cost up front or through a claim reimbursement. And a doctor's order, prescription, or office visit will not be required. The medical examiner has released new details in the sudden death of actor Bob Saget, who was found unresponsive in his Orlando hotel room. According to the report, Saget's family members became concerned when they could not reach him. When hotel security opened his room, they found him cold to the touch. His skin was yellow and clammy. He was lying in the supine position, which means he was lying on his back. His left arm was across his chest. His right arm was resting on the bed and there was no sign of trauma. The medical examiner also says there was no sign of drug use or foul play. And it will take 10 to 12 weeks to complete their investigation into Saget's death. We want to warn you, some viewers may find the video in this story disturbing. It is unbelievable video captured at the scene of a small plane crash in Los Angeles. When the pilot crashed on a train track and heroic police officers pulled him to safety just seconds before a speeding train plowed through the wreckage. The only sound on the video is an officer yelling, go, 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 before the train plows through. Again, a word of warning, it could be disturbing to some viewers.
Wow, that was a close call. That looks like it was straight from the horror movie, Final Destination. Do you remember the first movie? Wow, that's what it reminded me of. The FAA is now investigating the incident, but LAPD officials say the quick actions of those responding officers saved that pilot's life. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris visited Atlanta today, Tuesday, to talk about voting rights, to push for Democratic voting bills that expand voting options and implement sweeping federal changes to voting laws. Many political analysts credit Biden's victory in Georgia to the work voting rights advocates did there ahead of the election to bring out minority voters. But in a surprise move, many of those same advocates did not want Biden to come to Georgia and refused to attend his events because they say they have not seen any progress on his promises to advance voting rights. One voting rights leader said, we don't need another speech, we need a plan. The Internal Revenue Service says it will start accepting 2021 federal tax returns on Monday, January 24th. And the deadline to complete a tax return is April 18th this year, three days later than normal. And that's because Washington, D.C. is observing Emancipation Day on April 15th. Treasury officials are already warning of processing delays because the IRS has millions of backlogged returns. But if you are owed a refund, the typical turnaround is still 21 days if you opt for direct deposit. Legendary poet and activist Maya Angelou is now the first black woman to appear on a U.S. quarter. The U.S. Mint announced the Maya Angelou quarter is the first in the American Women Quarters program, which will include coins featuring prominent women in American history. The coins will start rolling out later this year and through 2025. Nostalgic comfort foods like goldfish snack crackers saw renewed popularity during the pandemic as more and more people stayed home. So Pepperidge Farm decided to boost the appeal of its goldfish crackers among adults by creating a new product called Goldfish Megabytes. Obviously, they are bigger than the uh, regular snack crackers. But Pepperidge Farms also hopes adults dig its bigger, spicier flavors like sharp cheddar and cheddar jalapeno. Fun fact, Even though goldfish crackers are usually associated with kids, when they first launched in 1962, 
they were actually marketed as a bar snack to go with drinks. Adults never really stopped eating the crackers. In fact, almost half of its customers don't have kids in the house at all. Sign One News will be broadcasting updates Monday through Friday. Then this Saturday at 6 p.m., join us for a live panel of diverse guests to discuss the hot topics of the week. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. And you can also watch on Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku. Oh, and one more thing. We want to send a big congratulations to the University of Georgia football team for winning its first national championship in 40 years. Go dogs. <laughs>